tease the sun in September east Hides behind the clouds of uncertainty She seems to be a star from another world Bright but far, near but hard to reach And so that like a lot of orange I'm kind of so want to get out of these clothes I am wearing a different shirt now because more oranges better for I, I don't know what I'm trying to say hey our last amp in our six amp review series for orange is uh, the top of the line. I, I don't want to say top of the line one of the most expensive ones it is hand wired perfection they call it it is a 50 watt Boutique, hand wired, single channel, no frills amp, uh, the Custom Shop 50. And uh, we're gonna look at it right away and I'm gonna read stats from the website. Here we go. So there it is. Um, we have the following controls it doesn't have wattage lower ridge or something, it doesn't have attenuation, it has on and play, so that's a standby switch. We have volume with a big ass knob and we only have pictures, which I kind of like. It makes the front panel nice and clean and classic-y. I don't think we need the descriptions. Um, we have this high frequency drive, which apparently at higher volume comes in more than at lower volumes. And that's pushing, I think, the power amp possibly with more uh, high end. Three band EQ and gain input and then there's an EQ lift which will take the EQ completely out of the equation and simply just give you gain and volume I guess. Um, that is foot switchable and you know what there is no foot switch included and I'm gonna do exactly that. There's no foot switch included I'm not testing it because there's no foot switch included. 
the amp is 2,400 something bucks and I'm not getting a foot switch? Come on, Orange. I mean, that's just a little bit ridiculous. It's a simple foot switch. Of course I have some sim simple foot switches, but you know what? I'm not gonna use them. Cause I want an orange foot switch to be included. Come on. Okay, let's look at the back. Um, speaker out. And I think this amp can't even be switched to different wattages. Uh, no, um, no, it can't. Uh, not wattages, I mean different, um, uh, countries, but it can. And then there's this switch where you can go from uh, class AB, which is what we're on right now, to class A. And we're gonna see what the differences are. Um, the uh, valves slash tubes in there are two AX7s in the preamp and two EL34s in the power amp. And that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple amp. On the table, like in this whole review series, I have a Linturus from Bochner, that's a great compressor for the clean sounds. We see how it behaves with overdrives, for which we have the Archer from uh, J-Rocket. And I have a Strymon Dig on the table for some delays. We're going to start with single call sounds from this LSL T-Star guitar. Mm. And... At... Let me see where I'm at now. Here we go. Kind of feels as if I'm already driving a bit. I wouldn't call this super clean. It is clean, but not super clean. Compression on. Delay. driving so I mean again orange not the kings of clean but the kings of dirt <laughs> It's very, very, when you're playing quietly, uh, here, there's some fizzle going on. Now it starts to wake up. Then 
Let's see how it behaves with the archer in front of it. <laughs> is nice dirt right there. Lead territory. Now if I put the delay in front of it, which is really my only choice. That still works. That's nice. pushing it with the archer. Okay, let's see what that high frequency drive gives us. Kind of like a presence knob. So, humbuckers with the beautiful Pantera 2 from Framus. Her name is Murple, because that's her name, because she's a manly purple. <laughs> NYXL. No, that no, it's not just no, it's Dadario Accelerate. It's not NYXL. This is just Accelerate. Because I'm getting stuck. Better.
that single coils are more fun with it. Um, so let's switch, uh, go on the back, Lizzie. And we're going to switch to class A and see what happens. Very different. completely different somehow. My two cents. Orange Custom Shop 50. I have a feeling this is an amp that one has to spend quite some time with to find out what it really does. In Class AB, I felt that the single calls were totally killing the humbucker sound. The humbucker sound was too dense. But then you switch to Class A, where you only have 30 watts, but the humbucker, it, it, it opens up. And in single coil, it opens up more. You have a bitey, a high end. Um, it, can I recommend a one channel amp with, I mean, a very, very simple amp for, you know, two and a half thousand bucks? Difficult. This is something that you have to play in a store. That's something you're, you're going to have to fall in love with. That's going to be something that you have to play with your pedals, with your guitar, and find out if it's for you. Now, when I recorded the tracks, this is one of the amps that was the most fun for me. Does it have a killer clean channel? Well, yes and no. It all depends on the volumes you're looking for, the guitar you're using it with, the effects you're using it with. It can get you a lot of great sounds. It's never going to be a metal amp. That's not what it's meant to do. It's a classic rock thing, a blues machine. Um, you can get cleans out of it that, that are fun. As I said, in when I recorded the tracks, I had a lot of fun with this. Right now, I was struggling with it a, a bit. Pfft, pfft. Animals. Uh, I was struggling with it a little bit. So I have a feeling that 
saying oh yeah or no is right now not right because it's an amp that one has to spend quite some time with which is difficult because you go to the store and you want to try it out and you try it for you know 30 minutes and then you make a decision tough it's obviously a lot of dough that you're forking over the counter so you come to me for advice I'm telling you if you're looking for something that has beautiful do it with a bit of that orange feel it can deliver as I said, I recorded the track and I had a lot of... I, I loved working with this amp. But I think you, you're going to have to become friends with it. It's not the thing that you turn on and, it, and you're immediately going to go like, woo! Like the OR15 for me was, was like this. I played it and everything I, that came out of the OR15 was cool. So this requires some befriending. Same thing with a... Maybe it's a custom shop thing. Uh, here, the custom shop 50 from Carl Martin. That thing did not reveal itself in the beginning to me at all. I was not happy with it. It took quite a while to understand how it works. Way more volume on the master, less gain, and then you... It took me a while, but now it's a great app. So, sorry I can't be more of, of more help. Uh, it's boutique, it's hand-wired, it's all that. Whether it's for you, in this price range, you're going to have to decide in the room with the amp while checking it out. Um, next video and the last video will be one where we compare them all on clean, driven and high gain, as far high gain as they can. And uh, kind of have one video where we look at all the six orange amps we had throughout the week and draw a conclusion. You know, orange yay or orange me. We'll see. Links below. See you then. Thanks for watching. Crossroads asking for the path I don't believe in Jesus nor in higher math I try to close my eyes and rely on what I see The world in black and white is not enough for me I gotta get up, I don't know what I'm doing here I'm fed up, it's time for me to disappear I'm under stress, I depress my family I'm in regress and there is no remedy Oh, I'm losing touch with reality This kind of duality too much for my mind and any kind of psychotherapy I'm taking off a bed